Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to talk about some of the advanced features of your Sarah 12. Advanced Operations Guide, Sarah 12. We've already reviewed some of the basic operations and controls for your Sarah 12. If you need a refresher on that, click the links to the video showing up on your screen right now. Otherwise, come along with me while we take a deep dive and look at some of the advanced features that your Sarah 12 can offer. To start, let's make sure our centrifuge is in free mode so we don't have a saved cycle selected. If necessary, hit the RPM up button once just to get out of any saved cycle that you might be in. Once we're in free mode, press the menu button. This will open up the advanced menu. You can tell you're in the advanced menu because break will show up in the RPM window. This advanced menu gives you two different options that you can adjust. You switch back and forth between them using the up and down arrow next to the RPM. Our two options are break and beeper. Let's talk about what both of those do. Break controls whether or not the Sarah 12 will apply the brake. This is a toggle. Braking is either on or off, and you can see what the current setting is by looking at the time screen. You can adjust that setting by using the arrows next to the time screen. Up and down will simply toggle it back and forth. The current setting is always displayed in that time window. If you want to save your setting, you can press the menu button. That will exit the menu and also save the setting. Keep in mind that this setting will apply to free mode. It will not edit any saved cycles. And then press the up button next to the RPM screen to get to the next part of the advanced menu. I will see beeper displayed on the screen. This controls the audible alerts for the Sarah 12. Much like we had with break, you'll see that there is either on or off displayed on the time screen. I can control the audible alerts for my Sarah 12 by pressing up or down on the arrows next to that time screen. Just like the break value, the beeper value, the audible alerts, will adjust as I manipulate those up and down keys with the current selected option showing on that screen. And finally, we can edit any of our saved cycles. To do this, use the cycle button to navigate to the cycle you wish to edit. You can tell which one it is because the name and its RPM value will alternate up in the RPM screen. Press and hold the cycle button to enter edit mode. The details of how to edit a cycle are a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but you can click through to either the basic editing instructions or the advanced editing instructions that are showing up on your screen right now. And those are your advanced controls. If you have any questions, you can contact Drucker Customer Service and we'll be happy to get them answered for you. Otherwise, if you'd like to learn more about the features of your Sarah 12, some helpful links are popping up on your screen right now. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.